Hello? Okay. Um, how do I stop that now? Okay. Stop. Go away. Thank you. Um, hello. Um, I am James, aka Code Cross, and welcome to um, episode number one of the Archaeology Live Show. As of yet, we don't have a name, so we're just calling it the Archaeology Live Show. Uh, just, just so there's a name. Um, as you can see, the lovely background image here. Hang on, which one is me? Hang on, I need to swap that one over and then go over here. Did you capture device? Bam. And where's chat? Chat is this one. Okay, and my name, which is that one. Okay, this lovely image here is uh, from Rosper Strand by Trevor Cole. Um, thank you um, for. Uh, uh, well, I found it on a, uh, a royalty-free uh, image website, so thank you for putting it on that website, I suppose. And uh, thank you for to um, premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music, because you know there wouldn't be uh, as uh, perfect there wouldn't be much professionalism in that if I didn't have well royalty-free music. I didn't want to get you know sued immediately. Um, so today we are going to discuss those questions I asked, hint, hint, um, and if I use um, this button here, hang on, swap it back to studio mode so I can see what I'm about to do before I do it. Okay, no, that is the other one, that one, yeah, okay. So I asked the question, what would you like to see and what would you like us to discuss on the uh, podcast? Oh, so far there's only one person watching. Hello. Um, so, this was the response I got. <laughs> um, so far, uh, this is live too as well. This is over on, uh, I was not showing my cursor. Do I have to click on the window first? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is over on Facebook. Well, I've it opened on Firefox and this other window over here. So this is uh, the Facebook um, post I met on the NUIG Archaeology Society because uh, it had the most traffic. As you can see here, it had a grand total of five likes. And that's the best response I got for <laughs> the post. Um, let me just uh, get rid of that. So those questions asked for are non-existent. So moving on from that, let's um, move on to hang on, open studio mode again, so I can do this separately here. So that is not what I want. Okay, that one can go away. Yes, delete and open up that one. Okay, and that one is that one there. Sweet. All right. So um, I got one question our one response to the ask, asking for questions. It's actually from my housemate who um, met me when I was making tea and he asked the question, uh, so Daniel asked the question, um, what is archaeology? And I thought that was a very good question because it's not a really easy one to answer. So yeah, what is archaeology? It's a good question. My main answer to that would be from this here, transition. Um, archaeology is the is concerned with the full range of past human experience, how people organize themselves into social groups and exploit their surroundings, what they eat, made and believed, how they communicated and their societies change from rent from brands. Archaeology. It's a really handy um, book for general archaeology stuff. I recommend it. Um, I don't know. Check it out. I need to look into maybe having an affiliation with Amazon where I can have a list of books there that if you are interested in anything, any books, archaeo any books that are archaeology related that you can click on that um, link and see them all listed on Amazon. But uh, I highly recommend that book. Uh, that is the seventh edition. I know there's multiple editions, but the seventh one is the, the latest one, I believe. And it 
is pretty good. I think it only came out in 20. Hang on. I think it only came out in 2015, and I got it like as soon as it came out by accident. I just happened to be in looking for a copy of it. It happened to be the updated edition. 2016 it came out. 2016. I believe I got it in like really early in the year in 2016. It might have been in January. But I could be completely wrong. So, what is archaeology? Um, <laughs> how, how, how? This is the only answer I could come up with for that. And it's usually what I would um, say right off the bat if someone would ask me that question but thinking about it because uh, he asked me yesterday so I've been thinking about it for the last last two well day and a half and yeah <laughs> so I was thinking of uh, maybe going around and maybe catching a few people I know um, involved in archaeology and maybe asking them for their um, for their interpretation of what archaeology is in the first place because I don't think this question was supposed to be as philosophical as it had turned out to be <laughs> but yeah um, what we do I'm just checking all the files here so let us actually just play a game let's play a game okay so that's my definition, well, what I would say if I was defining what archaeology is. I believe archaeology is more of a science, even though it is technically a humanities, but I believe it to be taken seriously, should be taken seriously as a science, but i not too up on exactly what uh, exactly it should be specifically construed as, either an archaeology or a science, but I see it as both. So. If you don't believe that, whatever, just do what you want. Oh, actually, you don't have, you don't get to see what I'm doing over here. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, so if I hit transition, this could go completely wrong because I'm doing it live. So over on this window, I'm going to type in what is her. This can go completely bad. Okay, I'm glad that no porn turned up immediately. Okay, what is archaeology? Is that the Wessex archaeology? I can't quite see what's there, so let's just click on that. See what Wessex archaeology... Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap it. If I... if I Does that change? Oh, it makes it really small. If I make it over here, then I can't quite see that. Shit. I'll just leave it over here. I'll just... Um, interactive archaeology workshops. Is there like a um, frequently asked questions or something? I don't see it. Okay, let's go back. Um, the S S, the S A A, the Society of American Archaeology. Okay, let's see. Can they give us an answer to this question? Um, introduction: Archaeology is the study of ancient uh, human past through material remains. It is subdivided into the anthropology study of human culture. Just a point on that. In Ireland, it's the other way around. Um, I think anthropology is considered part of the archaeology, or is it a science all of its own? I'm not entirely sure, but archaeology is technically a subject all of its own. Um, it is subdivided into ar and anthropology and the study of all human culture, from million-year-old from million year old fossil remains to our earliest human ancestors in Africa to the 20th century buildings, present-day New, New York City, Archaeology analyzes the physical remains of the past in pursuit of broad and comprehensive understanding of human culture. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic, so I read really badly. Um, all right, that's pretty much uh, very similar to what we just had there. Actually, can I move these around and maybe have them both up at the same time? Um, nah, no, no, let's leave it. Let's turn it off again. Okay, um, sweet. Okay, that's one answer. Um, okay, what's this wiki dictionary answer? Actually, that's a good one. Um, no, it's not wiki dictionary, is it? I don't know. The dictionary, whoever the hell the dictionary this is. A study of human history and prehistory through the ex excavation of sites and analysis of artifacts and physical remains. Pretty okay. And 
let's check out Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a great stepping stone for whatever you're trying to look into. I know in academia they always try to shy against it, away, or away you away from it. Um, specifically, they're referring to don't use it as a reference. Don't use Wikipedia as a reference. But if you don't quite understand something, it's a good encyclopedia to check out to find out where to go to learn about the thing that you can reference. I.e., you can just kind of go down here and they have their references, and you can go to wherever things come from. So. Uh, archaeology is study of human activity through the recovery and analysis of material culture. The archaeological record consists of artifacts, architecture, bio, biofacts, ecofacts, and cultural landscapes. What is biofacts? Let's answer that in a minute. Um, archaeology can be considered both a social science, a branch, and a branch, and a branch of humanities. Okay, that's kind of similar to what I had just said there, where it's a science and a humanity. Um, now in North America, archaeology is considered a subfield of anthropology. Again, I just said that. While in Europe, archaeology is often viewed as either a discipline in its own right or a subfield of the other disciplines. It's pretty much just what I've already said. So that's a good one. Now, well, let's no. Now, while we're live, let's <laughs> understand what the hell a biofact and an ecofact is. I've never heard of those terms before. Though I might have, because they're sim they're familiar, but I can't remember um, oh it looks like it's just pollen and um, artifacts okay um, I had not heard of those terms before well if I have I just don't remember um, I'm not going to completely get rid of that can I just go to Google please not just give me a completely there you go so let's have that window there so let's look at the chat is there any messages in the chat no nope. okay we still have one viewer, so at least someone's watching us. Let me make sure that my audio is on. It is okay. Um, right. How how long are we? Okay, we're about thirteen minutes in, and I've already run out of material. Um. So let us discuss. Um, there was another question I was asked. Um. Who am I? <laughs> so who am I? I suppose uh, I was kind of saving this until another time when I got and I kind of kind of got stuck on what I was looking for. Um, Galway five. So let me just kind of check this out to make sure I can use use it. Uh, I just want to make sure it's royalty free. Um, I think so. Okay, I think it is. So I guess this would probably be the best way of showing you who the hell I am. Is that working? It is. And I've just realized I forgot to turn the audio on. Let's just start here. Um, and I turn the audio back on. Sorry about that. Here in Galway, Ireland. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of the city, but not just any tour. Um, I have my friend James here who has been doing 10 years of archaeological research on the city. And he's going to show us what a medieval Galway would look like. Supposedly Galway is one of the most quintessentially Irish cities. Historically that hasn't always been the case. By the time the Anglo-Normans reached Galway <coughs> in the early 1230s, the King of England had already promised the lands around Galway to Richard de Moore de Burr. When they arrived here, naturally there was a battle. Actually, there was two battles just behind us over here at the river, of which um, Richard Burke actually won. And in 1232, he established some form of castle here, most likely of the whole house type. After a number of raids by the local Gaelic, they eventually used monies collected from taxes imposed on trade goods to build a wall starting sometime during the 1270s. So, the, these arches behind us, the Spanish arch and the blind arch, 
I can assume where the blind one got its name, but what about the Spanish arch? This feature here is actually only part of the Chianabalia structure, meaning the head of the wall and, and was constructed in 1584. The name of the Spanish arch itself is actually a misidentification with the structure pictured next to it on the 17th century pictorial map of Galway. The purpose of this was to protect the ships sheltering here at the port, some of which would have been Spanish. Here at uh, the Red Earl's Hall and it was constructed by Richard Oak de Burr in 1333. Now Richard Oak is actually the grandson of the previous Richard, Richard Moore de Burr, that we discussed earlier. This is one of three pillars, so as you can see there's, um, there's my hand in the, in the camera. There's three pillars here and they would be like the support beams for the actual roof itself. And down the centre you can actually see a gutter. Copyrighted music. <laughs> Hello? Apparently my OBS disconnected? I don't know. Can I put this over here? Okay. Um, grand. So, yeah. We're about 18 minutes in. Just got 19 minutes. And I said I was going to do this for about an hour, and I've already run out of material, so I suppose, um, why don't I do 10 more minutes, and then leave it at that, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of making a YouTube video about other, what, YouTube video, or YouTube creators who do discuss archaeology. Um, I was thinking of doing a, a brief um, video about that but I can't just do it here on the live show I think um, I suppose I could will I do that now type one in the chat if you want me to do it now chat I know there's one person watching <laughs> the chat's not responding <laughs> There's chat chat's board. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay. I can see that you're watching because it it's here on my screen that I've one person looking at me and you're not <laughs> Okay. Whatever. Um So let us move on and look at going to open up my Facebook here and see oh you know what I forgot to do I forgot to <laughs> tell people that I'm live right now um, oops that's probably why I only have one person watching <laughs> oh well um, yeah hang on I'm gonna do that right now um, where is my channel my channel uh, YouTube have swapped the button around hang on if I click on this here I got here just to show you what I'm what I'm talking about so that's not what I want so oh over here on YouTube um, you can't actually get your um, your channel up until you click here and when you signed in you can uh, you can get it there you go um, so I'm not too happy about that to be honest because it's really confusing when I'm trying to find it. So let me just kind of, I'm going to put post it, did I turn off the audio on that? I did, okay. So I'm going to just share this now on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, by the way, I'm also sorry as well. I'm, I'm about two hours late when I started. Um, oh, I forgot to change the name of the uh, the show in the uh, in the chat. Hang on. Um, Our 
archaeology live show untitled archaeology live show episode one. Oh my god this is going to be not really interesting to watch at all uh, no use a number nine sweet okay can I save the changes or does it automatically I think it does it automatically all right um, right oh I have the wrong windows open okay there we go so hopefully uh, someone might actually join and I can probably bring them in no <laughs> no response okay I'm gonna post the same thing on Twitter maybe as well uh, Twitter is getting a lot of archaeologists on it these days so hopefully someone might actually respond to my tweet because I, I rarely use Twitter where do I go to post on Twitter oh yeah it's here I'm just going to copy and paste what I just did because I'm not going to do it again. So yeah, um, forgetting anyone new, no we're not, never mind, I was going to say send in your questions or, you know, <laughs> contribute to the conversation, because <laughs> I'm just literally talking to myself right now. Um, how long is this? It's been about 25 minutes. So yeah, what is archaeology? Um, the problem with that question is not everyone is going to answer it the same way. Um, not everyone would have the same definition, honestly. So that's this is where the problem comes in. But I hope that that answers that question and it doesn't make you more confused because I'm a bit more <laughs> confused now. <laughs> but I hope it's just because I have all this other stuff going on in my head and that's why I'm confused right now. Um, can I fix that? Edit post. Damn it. Oh, why is this broken? I hope you can't hear that because I'm an idiot and I'm not using headphones uh, oh we have two people there hope she up no no it's not updated it damn it I was hoping that would update the post oh I have someone <laughs> someone posted in the chat and I can't see what they've said um, hang on, if I open this window I can see it. Oh, hello Stephanie. Do you have any questions about archaeology, Stephanie? I, I take that as no, maybe. Um, right. I hope my uh, no. Okay. Um, am I lagging at all? Because I forgot to check that before I went live.
I'm using different internet as well uh, than I was the last few times. Oh, you're having a delay. Oh, well, there probably is a delay then. Um, I'm hoping it's not too bad, and when I watch it back, that it's actually, um, it's actually okay. I hope. Um, so I've run out of material to talk about. Oh, hang on. Not sure if it's your problem though. Oh, well, I'll, I'll look into it anyway. Um. I've just been, uh, for those who who just joined, which is pretty much just Stephanie, hello, I, again, um, I've been discussing what is archaeology specifically, and I've kind of was looking for people to join the conversation, <laughs> because I'm just running out of stuff to talk about. Um, so let me just quickly you know what will I discuss um, archaeology youtubers okay I suppose I can do that now uh, go to my subscriptions and uh, where is this here so I know of this one I, can, I think that's how you spell it I think I've completely... Oh, it's two words. That... <laughs> um, okay, I, I'm not gonna... say what just happened right now, just now until a few minutes. R-A-A-R-C-H-I-O I just type archaeology into YouTube and see if it comes up. Oh, I am the fourth thing from the top when you Google archaeology on YouTube. That's nice to know. Um, so I'm going to save that one for last because this is my favorite YouTube channel who does archaeology. The... I can't Archeo Why is that not Oh there she is, okay. Sweet. Okay. So let me grab these and pull them onto the Firefox window so you can see it. So the first oh Stephanie sent me something. To make a conversation like anyway with a long delay probably 10 seconds or something oh okay this is cool though yeah yeah that's fine um right oh <laughs> that's obvious i'm trying to type or obs i'm trying to type into it's this one i need okay so if i stick that there paste paste and go so this is the first one uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swap them all over. Um, so there's three of the names here. I know there's more, but I can't find them. So I'm just gonna discuss the three that I found. Why did that one not work? Oh yeah, because I was blank. So the first one here is Archaeonomy, and he would mostly do um, archaeology videos based around, hang on, I grab the OBS and bring it onto this window so I can see it. Um, he would do videos mostly on archaeology of uh, New Zealand, but he also, as you can see here, he does uh, some on other, other types of archaeology uh, in Europe and, um, well, international archaeology. So I do recommend Archaeonomy's channel, uh, especially the stuff on, on the Maori. Is it the Maori? I could be getting that wrong. Um, 
the stuff that he does on uh, the the native um, the native um, inhabitants of New Zealand. Um, sorry, I, I've not planned this, so I'm trying to remember off off the cuff. Oh, it is the Maori. Um, trying to remember off the cuff, and it's um, can be difficult sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to make a mistake. Um, so yeah, his channel is really good. I really enjoy his channel. Uh, the second person uh, is Arcuduck. I've accidentally played the videos. Um, second person to Arcuduck. Arcuduck's channel is really interesting if you're looking for just basic breakdowns. She does stuff on, um, you know, uh, she does stuff actually on explaining what archaeology is and stuff. So actually, that she might be the best person to answer the question of what is archaeology. Um, she has a PhD as well, I believe, and she. Uh, sh her stuff is quite good and the last one here because I've saved the best for last uh, oh there's also another guy named uh, Arceus Soup but I couldn't find him but his, his one his one's quite good as well and then my favourite one is this one here Carlo um, or Carlos sorry um, Carlos is a, a very interesting channel and he streams at least um, I don't think it's every day but he streams um, a couple of times a week and yeah, um, his his stuff is really interesting, and he does uh, you know what's up in archaeology at least once a week, where he discusses uh, current events and new articles that have come out, or uh, he will debunk mistakes and whatnot, and it's really interesting. I do recommend checking out his channel. Um, I'm not going to go into any of that stuff right now because you know that's his stuff. Um, but it's kind of what gave me the idea for the concept of an archaeology uh, stream because no one does Irish archaeology so I figured why not I do the Irish archaeology or at least try to do the ar Irish archaeology um, so yeah um, that's about 30 almost 35 minutes um, Oh, I finished my first book of the year. Yeah, um, yeah, wrong, wrong camera. This camera. Um, I finished my first book of the year uh, this year. Um, <laughs> the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. But that's why I read it. Because I wanted to understand. I wanted to understand what people are talking about. Well, I'm putting it over there. Other way. Um, I don't agree with it, but. I, I, I see I see where, where what people are saying but I don't I don't entirely agree with all with all of it I agree with parts of it like very very small amounts but not all of it no um, yeah I'm looking to the chat to see if there's any response okay because um, I'm running out of stuff to talk about uh, oh yeah I had a list. I forgot I forgot my uh <laughs> I forgot to look at the show notes before I started my camera has gone all blurry okay it's fixed um, oh yeah the only thing I have here on my show notes is I wanted to discuss that but I'll do that in a moment I promised that I would do some stuff oh yeah I was late, it was late as well starting um, today because actually that's not it um where is I have to go to my emails. I was at a um the NUIG archaeology department's um evening no lunchtime lecture series and I had a slide here that I wanted to bring in. Is this it? Preview. Ah, uh, okay. Um, can I download that? Download. Great. I'm gonna just grab this out of my downloads and put it up on the screen in a second. Uh, downloads. Hang on, hang on. Open up that. Go to recent downloads. Downloads. Last download shown folder. There we go. Pull that over here. Grab that. Uh, flick it on the studio mode I can turn off window capture and swap in a new window 
which is an image bring up image number two which is on the desktop there we go open that okay oh shit it's huge um bring it down Ah, screw it, I'm just going to do it live. Um, I need it, it's working now. So yeah, the... I do recommend that if you're in... Oh, hang on, I cut out someone's name. So I'll just move it up slightly. So if you're in Galway... Um, I recommend if you have some time during your lunch break I think it's between one uh, bet it's an hour at one o'clock uh, in the Town Hall Theatre Galway in the studio um, I do recommend that you check that out and I will just get rid of that now because that is a huge image um, so yeah there's some free advertisement for you <laughs> Uh, for the NYG Archaeology Department. Uh, I was also sent a a thing from the Irish Institute of Archaeologists uh, which I'm, I'm a member, well a student member of them but I'm not sure if they would want me to show this on the stream um, to be honest I don't know um, wrong window. This one. Um, okay. Um, Stephanie's contacting me on Facebook. I can't properly watch stream right now. I was going to pop in and say hi, lol. No worries. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see that your message there. I was on another window. Um, cool. So yeah, let me just start. What time is it now? Okay, it's 40 minutes. Okay, actually, I've almost done an hour. I'll, I'll do the last. I'll do it la at least at ten minutes, and it's just done just like ten minutes shy of an hour. So this is not the right window. Um, I'm gonna have to rewatch the show back in a moment and see where where everything goes wrong to see where my audio lag is and whatnot, but I hope this show was at least somewhat interesting. I keep looking at the wrong camera. This camera is the one I need to look at, camera one. Okay, um, I need to do something here so I can... Oh, you know what I can do? If I stick this here, I'll be more inclined to look at least this direction. And what happened to that there? That's over there. Okay. So, actually grab that and put it there. So I can see that, click on studio mode. So I can see that, I can see that, I can see the watchers and the time. Um, while I am have this open here, uh, this window here I call by the fire mode, which is mysteriously not working for some reason. Media source. Why is that not working? Studio. Why by the fire mode it stopped working. The 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 previous um st stream or the at least the question the uh, the part where I was asking questions that has it where I was talking and next to me I had the the Spanish arch. Um, I, I don't know where the, that's gone. I can't find it right now. I'll have to go look for it later. It's probably mixed up in a folder somewhere. Um, the, that, that slide is completely missing. 
I don't know why, but I call it by the fire mode where I can sit and, and chat to the audience, essentially. Um, game capture mode. No, I don't want game capture. Firefox. Wrong one. Well, essentially, um, this will be the format for the archaeology live stream. And then the other, the other um, thing I had um, in the last couple of videos, that will be. Hang on, it's getting dark. Well, let's go on that that setting. So I'm just going to remove the glasses because it's going to be reflecting, and that will be annoying. Unfortunately, now I can't see shit. So if you're sending me messages, I'm probably not going to see it. And in fairness, I think it's only one person talking to me. No, yeah, uh, it's only one person talking to me, so I'm probably she's contacting me on Facebook. Um, grand, okay. So yeah, so this will essentially be the basic idea of the archaeology podcast. Uh, podcast. I keep saying podcast. I mean live stream. Okay. Um, so this will be essentially the format of the archaeology live stream where I'll take questions from the audience and then answer them. Um, I'll also just talk about maybe I don't want to talk about current affairs or cur uh, not current affairs, but current events in archaeology. It seems um, Carlos does that already. Um, yeah. Well, um, to to the two people who are watching me, um, Stephanie and whoever the other person is, the you anonymous individual, you, thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably discuss the final topic. The uh, oh, by the way, if you're an undergrad or an undergraduate, and well, if you're a postgraduate as well, it's probably be very. Um, well, it won't be very interesting, but it'll be, it's a nice little piece of knowledge that not many people actually tell you in... Um, well, I didn't even learn it from academia, but not many people actually know this. Um, use yellow paper. Uh, I learned that while I was, uh, when I was a screenwriter, um, when I used to write um, movies and TV shows and stuff. Um, use yellow paper. When you're trying to read... Uh, stuff you've written and you're constantly looking at a white page it reflects the light a lot and it hurts your eyes so if you use yellow paper uh, you're not as used to looking at the yellow paper so you get bored looking at it a lot less it's easier like if you're looking at hang on I have a note here if you're looking at the white paper I'm not gonna unroll this note because I don't know what it says on it um, your eyes are used to looking at the white paper from years of when you're growing up and stuff but when if you use yellow paper or green paper or pink paper um, I sometimes when I'm printing out documents to read I print it on green paper um, use colored paper if there's something you, if you use, if there's a lot of stuff you need to read use colored paper because it's easier for you to keep focused on it um, I tend to get distracted rather easily and people who know me from um, either um, formerly being in the archaeology department or uh, now just generally uh, doing uh, projects just around the place I have a really I can have a low attention span because I just get bored really easily um, I that comes from my Asperger's um, I think it does anyway I'm not entirely sure but yeah I tend to get bored really easily um, so using color paper is very helpful for that uh oh yeah uh my one my one show note well i had two notes to mention the um to plug the lunchtime lecture and to discuss uh audience interaction okay now i've kind of touched on this already but there was only one person watching me now there's two um and as we've just uh shown an example there with me and stephanie were talking um, this sh type of show only works if the audience and me the presenter and well my co-host who's not here 
Um, if we have a discussion, this is the only way this is going to work. So it only works with interaction. So if you've watched this back later on, uh, because I know not everyone can watch it um, when it's live, um, I actually want. I'm actually thinking about um, changing the time of the of the live show to maybe one o'clock. I might do it one o'clock so people can watch watch it on lunch breaks. Um, if you want to have your lunch and watch watch me talk shit to the internet. Um, I can swear all I like because I'm not getting paid by YouTube to do this. So they all the at most they can do is just you know remove my videos off the internet, which technically they can't do right now. <laughs> but maybe when they create more silly laws, they might be able to do our rules. I mean, not laws. Uh, they might be able to do that. But um, yeah, I'm not getting paid to do this, so I'm just talking to a camera. Um, I do need to. In order to be paid, I would need to make hit um, ten thousand views, and when that if that happens, I will be getting paid on the ad revenue. So you know, in the this side, that bit, for chance, this one. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the thing, and I'm trying to figure out which which way to look. So over here somewhere, um, there should be. There's usually on on YouTube. There's an ad, and uh, well, if you're watching it in the small window, uh, there's usually an ad to the left and sometimes there's a pop-up on the bottom. And that will essentially be um, me getting paid. Unless you're using Adblock, then I won't be getting paid at, at all. So, you know, shame. 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 Uh, if I had my glasses on, I could look up the video. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I need to hit 10,000 views, so I'm going to do this. Well, for now, I'm going to do it every day this week and see if I can get the viewer base to increase from... Well, it's been one for the last... Well, I've, this is the third YouTube live stream I've done. So, for the last... The first two had one person watching, and now we have two. So, hopefully, after that, we'll have more than that. I think the video... The last video, the question one, had... 23, 25, 20, somewhere between 23 and 25 people looked at it. Hang on, I open it up on the, the window here. Uh, can I just go to my channel and not to the video? I can, okay, sweet. So, views, or videos, I mean. Videos, 27, so just under 30 people watched the question video. Which is, alright, I'm happy with that. Um, but, <laughs> none of you <laughs> responded. So that's what I mean, okay? With audience interaction, the only way this works is if you respond to the questions. It's like um, being in a classroom. And usually in a classroom, the people who are generally really interested sit in the very, very front. And the people who are not really interested too much, they sit in the very back. And what's happening is the people who sit in the back are actually the people, they think that you can't see them very well. But because you're sitting at the back, the person who's standing at the front giving the, or teaching or giving the lecture, they see you easier than they see the people in the front because you're in their line of sight because you're at the back. So what you've done is actually the opposite of what you've intended to do. There's a nice tip for you. Uh, also, that's why you get asked questions a lot. You get asked questions a lot because they can see you easier. So if you sit in the middle, that's how you get away with it. But... Um, yeah, you can sit in the front or the back, you're easily seen, but if you sit in the middle, it's harder to see you. Um, so yeah, I need you guys <laughs> to respond. So you're all sitting in the back right now, and I can see you not responding. <laughs> so, you know, answer, you know, send in some questions or, you know, interact a bit. Oh, we have third viewer. <laughs> As I berate the audience, I get a third viewer. Okay, um... So yeah, I'm technically I was kind of winding up right now, but you can probably just watch the show back and give it a few minutes and it'll uh, uh, upload the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I've talked to myself now for 23 minutes and 20 seconds, so <laughs> I'm not going to keep doing this for long. I'm just going to wait for maybe another five minutes. Uh, check the chat. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, fair enough. Um, uh, 
I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really re really see it too well. So yeah, um, I guess for now I'll just leave it at that. Um, I wanted to give a question for the next day, so I have something to kind of work with with everyone. Um, would you be interested in seeing a um, a kind of a an episode each on the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, the Medieval Period. Would you be interested in that uh, kind of format or would you be interested in um, something else entirely? Uh, I do plan on trying to get um, some guests to come on. Uh, every now and again we'll do like a special episode where we'll have a, a guest. Um, the original intention was I was supposed to have a co-host but I'm not really sure what's happening there, to be honest. So I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna go live by myself anyway. And we can always just bring someone in else in later. Um, I did have <laughs> did have a gag planned, but I never actually followed up, followed through on it. Where I was gonna bring in like um, uh, an image of uh, Dr. Daniel Jackson and kind of talk to him every now and again and just joke that his microphone mustn't be working or something. Um, but yeah, that really wasn't that funny, so I kind of didn't bother. So yeah, we're 55 minutes, we have three people watching, and I think for now I'm done. So, thanks very much for watching. I've been uh, James, aka Kukros. I will see you all uh, next time, I guess. Uh, bye. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to aim for one, and if I'm not at one, I'll be on at some point after one. So, bye.